Okay, people have, uh, several people have asked me about, they get a box of varnish and not sure where everything goes or what's it doing or anything. So what we're gonna do is make this film into two parts. One, I'm gonna lay out the harness, explain what each piece does, why it's there uh, and where it goes. And what we use for this is this beam here running through the top of here on the way bridge. We can put it on there and that's a good place just to lay it out, get a rough idea of where it should be. Okay, we do have actually big fiberglass horses, but it's way too big for this pony harness that's just arrived. So here it's come in the box as it is. This one has quick releases with it and pads. So we'll take them out first, get them out of the way, because they're only relevant to the harness, they're extras, they don't come as standard. Right, this is a Heartland set of harness. Um, this is how it's come. Always comes, you know, well packed. So it's all inside a great big bag inside a box. So I'm gonna take out these two, these are the pads. I'm gonna just put these over here out of the way for a minute. The other thing in the quick releases, a pair of those, we'll put them over. Okay. Oh, and uh, the lady bought a little under halter to go with it. So we'll get rid of them bits first. Okay, so when you do this, you need a knife or a pair of scissors. So first of all, coming out of the box is the traces. So before, it's never ever happened, this, but I'm just saying it's a good thing to, um, to check that uh, they are both the same length. I've never had ones that weren't, but there's no point in getting it all together and then finding ones. So just by pulling them out, we can see that they're definitely the right length, yeah? Or at least they're both the same length. So we're gonna put them over there for a minute. Up that end. Back to the box. What's coming out now is the bridging. So this goes around the quarters of the horse. Yeah, and it's already got the bridging straps on. The two that you can see here. On the line or hitch strap there. Okay, so we're gonna put that up that end. There. Okay. So what else we got? Next we got the breast collar. Yep. The traces will go in here, be fixed in, and there's a neck yoke to go over to carry the collar. So we're just going to lay that here, up this end. So we've now got the traces, the bridging, and the collar. Now we've got the little pad. This sits on the horse's back, so obviously that's going to go between the two. Yep. Yeah. So now what we've got is the yoke which carries, or neck strap, sometimes they're called. Lots of different names for them, it's a bit irrelevant really, but this sits at the base of the neck, just in front of the withers. That's where it's gonna sit, and it's gonna support the breast collar. So what I'm gonna do is just put this one in here. Bit self-explanatory really, You've got two buckles, you've got two straps. So obviously, they go in like that. All I'm doing is putting them on the first or second hole because they're gonna be adjusted. The second half of this film, you know, part two, will be when it's fitted to a pony that it's been bought for. So, there we go. So now you can see the yoke going over on the collar that will go round the pony's chest. Yeah, and we put that back in place there. So now we've got the bridging, the pad, the collar. Now onto here, we've got a belly band here. 
you see underneath run through these two keepers yep but this is the girth the padded one is the girth that needs to go on to this side there's a, ver a variety of different buckles that are used this one we'll explain as we go but we're just putting that on there now that's the girth so very much like a saddle on horse's back you've got the girth it's going to go under the horse and be buckled on the far side yep okay now we need to connect this to that end so we're looking for backstrap and crouper there's lots of different names for this people call them different things but basically that's the crouper he's going to go around the horse's tail around his dock like that and it's going to lay along his back and join up with a pad right so we need to put that along here undo your buckles pull it through these straps these are made with quite a bit of adjustment i'll just undo this fully and you can see you just see the holes the amount of adjustment and a lot of room to punch more holes because horses vary in length so much ponies horses all vary in length so you want a fair amount of adjustment so this is going to come up through here this little keeper on the back of the pad can you see that there little keeper on the back of the pad there okay now this is a basic standard set of harness but a good set of harness um, you know a very popular make of harness strong and durable so we're putting that there now so this is going to sit on the pony's back in the next part of this film when we've actually got the pony in the shop and we're going through it it'll become much more easy to follow and we're going to use a chestnut pony so it shows up nice you know against the, the color of the pony obviously with a black one it doesn't show up as well gray ones you know maybe better but sometimes a bit too strong a contrast so chestnut we find is easier to explain so now we've got that now what we've got to do is this bridging mustn't fall on the ground obviously behind the horse mustn't fall down here it's got to be suspended yeah so it fits around the horse's quarters yeah under his tail around his quarters at the back so we undo this strap there put that over that side bring our crouper up and you'll see there's two places sometimes three so you've got one two here we're going to use this one here just for a minute might not be the right place till we put it on the pony but i'm going to pull that through buckle it up back on here and you'll see now the back of the harness is virtually complete so there it is croup again round the towel the bridging the tower and the bridging now to be around the quarters and this over the pad we don't know anything yet whether this is the right size we know that it's made for a pony but and this pony is a bit awkward a bit between cob and pony so we've measured him sent the measurements off and Heartland have sent us the stuff what they will do at Heartland which I think is a great thing sometimes you'll get a pony's got perhaps a little bit bigger head or a smaller head or uh, might be very long in the body and now they'll interchange parts from a cob bit or a pony or a Shetland to make a set for you that will fit obviously this is not made to measure it's it's produced to fit all ponies of a certain size height um, but this one you know it's got plenty of adjustment on it and should be fine I'll put that back over there crouper along the top and pad there so now we need to bring this into play so if we put this here this is how it's going to fit on the horse obviously this is going to be down here the same as the bridging 
but just for showing you now this makes it easy to see when we get the pony out next half of the film will be much more explanatory of what we're going to do yeah so what are we short of now well we need something to hold the shelves up so we've got these quick release tugs a quick release tug you can have a fixed tug yeah but these are a quick release i like these ones on that they do because that it's nice and small this not too big so you don't get your shaft rattling about inside there yeah it sits in there quite comfortably that again as we on well, the next one we'll do that and then we'll put the third film will be about putting the pony to a brand new cart, measuring it, getting the shelves right. But one step at a time. So we're going to take this up here. And I'm just going to pop it in that hole. Doesn't mean to say that's where I want it to be, but that's where it's going to live. And this strap here is going to connect with this one. This loose one, you know, we spoke earlier about the belly band fitting through the girth. But it goes through this keeper at the bottom of the pad then goes through the check on the on the one below there the purpose of that is that when this is done up and held on the pony in position this can only move is restricted in its movement that is the whole purpose of these two keepers to restrict this and its movement again I'll explain why once we fit it to the pony and then the pony to the new cart okay so obviously what do we need now we need a bridle so here's our little bridle so all the measurements have been sent to Artland and they will send us the nearest they can to this measurement so they're not going to send us something that is fully extended out they'll send us one that has got a little bit of adjustment both ways you don't need a great deal of adjustment on a bridle once all she's you know ponies fully grown or all their heads not going to grow anymore whereas around their girth and their britching could easily grow when they're out of grass it gets fat as any so you want more adjustment there so there's our bridle so now we can see the harness basically in the positions it will take on the horse one other thing we want also I would say anyone in packaging or anything or labelling, anyone can make a mistake. So always check that it says pony. Yeah. All the way through. But as I've said to you, Artland might have put a cob piece in was or a or or a Shetland pony, small pony, large pony, just to suit your particular horse. They will do that. So sometimes they won't read the same. And you'll think, oh dear. But they would have done that for a reason. It's only when you fit it. That you realize why and obviously can make a mistake so you know it's never happened yet but one day it will and we'll have to send a bit back because it's not right or doesn't fit so the only thing we're, we're looking for now is something to steer the horse with and that's our reins most important they got a nice grip on them uh rubber grip you know you can get hold of them in the wet the rain so they're very good we just want to make sure this one is not carrying a label to say you know whether it's pony full size or whatever so we're just going to double check that they're long enough reins can't be within reason i qualify that by saying within reason before someone wants to correct me um, but we want to make sure that they come from the horse's head so i'm going to say the horse's head is there where that would be yeah I mean that's more than generous the horse's head there and the bridging beam where it is so when we bring these back we want to make sure that when we come back here and we're sitting on our vehicle we've got enough rain and we've got enough to bring up to make a loop on our little finger we'll go into that later but basically we've got enough we don't want to end up with the reins here do we we've well, got nothing at all left and we don't want to end up with yards of it but if you've got too much it's not a massive problem because you can pick it up and put it on your finger but we'll explain that later once we get to the third film so there you have it all the harness ready to start being fitted 
to the pilot.